Yeah, I think Kevin McCarthy still is the person who's going to win the speaker's job. Uh, I think there's been progress made. You know, we have some people who are holding out, and if you watch the media across the country, um, most people uh, believe that we need to find a resolution to this and Kevin McCarthy be voted a speaker. Um, you know, Republicans need to work together as a team. We have some holdouts, you know, that are not being uh, team players. They're voting in their own best self-interest and not in the interest of the Republican Party, not in the interest of the American people. Because we, without a speaker, we can't do anything about the border. We can't do anything about inflation and spending. We can't do any oversight of the administration. We can't do anything. In fact, right now, because we don't technically have security clearances, many of our people, all of our people, in fact, on House, the House Intelligence Committee don't have a security clearance to meet with any of the administration's people, whether that's at the FBI, the CIA, the NSA. And do I, th I don't think that's going to impact our national security, uh, but what it does is it takes the House of Representatives out of the picture and leaves it to the administration and the Senate to do oversight or have discussions as it relates to our national security. So, you know, this is a big problem that needs to be rectified. And I think uh, what you're going to find is some people need to determine that there's an end point and they should take yes for an answer. They've, we've been giving all kinds of things uh, as far as rule changes, which most of us supported in the first place. But they just won't take yes for an answer. And I think fundamentally they're digging themselves in a pretty deep hole. Yeah, I think they're wrong, actually. I think they're wrong because, because those people uh, are ultimately going to lose out. I think you're going to find that that's maybe uh, three, four people, and that's not enough to defeat Kevin McCarthy because of some, some of the other members that won't, don't want to vote for him vote present. It lowers the threshold, and he'll get 213 votes at least, which will bring him the Speaker's chair. As far as the House rules, no, I don't have any concerns at all. I think, you know, there needed to be some rule changes that empowered the rank and file members of Congress and took a little bit of the uh, power away from uh, just the leadership, re empowering the committee structure so that individual members and individual chairmen or ranking members of committees um, have the power that they're supposed to have. So, no, I don't have any concerns at all at this point about rule changes, I think, for the most part, they're in a positive direction. Um, and again, these are things that Kevin McCarthy asked all of us months ago, if we're in the majority, what rule changes would you like to see? This happens actually every Congress. People don't know that. We have meetings, uh, both parties do, and discuss the House rules, offer amendments, and if they are approved by the, Congre the, the uh, conference, whether that's Republicans or Democrats, they get it added to the House rules. The Democrats changed some House rules last time. In fact, they made it harder to remove Speaker Pelosi, believe it or not, from the House cha from the chair. Uh, and we're going back uh, to where it has been for over 200 years. So, no, I, I have no concerns at all. And one other thing off this topic, but tomorrow is January 6th. Yes. Yeah, I mean, I think obviously it was a bad day. I was in my office uh, in Rayburn House office building for eight hours, locked down. We did actually have some members uh, at risk, both House and Senate, including, and, including the Vice President of the United States and the Speaker of the House. And I think it was an unfortunate day. I think one of the things we learned from that is rhetoric does matter. And, you know, sometimes people take the rhetoric of, of political people literally. Um, and, uh, you know, you can refer back to my statement on that day. I think it was unfortunate. I think there shouldn't have been a rally on the National Mall that day. Um, and uh, I believe the Vice President of the United States, uh, Mike Pence, did the exact right thing, and I'm in full support of what he did. In fact, I voted to certify the election of Joe Biden, someone who I disagree with on almost every issue, because I believe it was my constitutional duty to, to do so. So, yeah, it's a dark day in American history um, that we don't want to repeat. And as you know, we've changed the law somewhat so that it takes more members on the House and the Senate to uh, object to what the vice president's role is, ceremonial, to count the votes from the states. I I'm a belie big believer in the federal system. 
all of the states certified their electoral college votes. No one sent up uncertified votes. The Vice President of the United States, Mike Pence, absolutely did the right thing. I know um, at the end of this last Congress, Democrats recommended criminal uh, charges against the former president. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, he has been accountable. He lost his election. And so, you know, I think that's the important thing. You know, when, when the election came around, he lost. The American people did not reelect him president, and I think that's where the accountability comes. Uh, I disagree with uh, them submitting uh, criminal charge recommendations. First of all, they're recommendations, and the Department of Justice may or may not do anything with them. They're already doing their own investigation. And the other thing is that select committee was not... Uh, I think, a legitimate committee because Speaker Pelosi denied us the people we wanted on the committee. Um, and, and so because she denied some of our members, um, you know, we're not going to go with that and we're not going to put any of our members on there. And then she picked a couple of Republicans who clearly were against the president. So, you know, I, I think it's uh, a political uh, waste of time, honestly. And they want to try to prevent the president, the former president, from running again. Um, I get that. But I think it's the American people who held him accountable by not reelecting him to office. Thank you.